All right, let's go fresh out of the mailbox. So I did a review on this brand before because I purchased a watch from Amazon and it was the Amazon version of AP by the brand called Feast or Feet or Feist, whatever the case may be. So of course, since I'm the biggest in the game, the brand found the video and actually reached out to me and they were like, hey, thanks for your video. We would like to send you another piece if you're okay with it. And I'm like, sure, as long as you know what time it is, I'm gonna say whatever I feel, however I feel, no matter what. And luckily brands are being way more receptive nowadays. They understand that there's no such thing as bad publicity. As long as you're on a decent sized platform, people will check it out. So here it is. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out the feast time piece that they sent me cause I don't remember what it is. I'm kind of a big deal. Plus, good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. I'm definitely going to have to look at the message to see unless the box indicates what model or type it was. I believe it... I just don't remember. But here's what the presentation looks like. I just, I just took off the shipping packaging, but I haven't opened it yet. Feast. It's really much a standard fucking cardboard box. Who cares? Let's pop this shit open. And it looks like the same presentation as that AP as that AP from Amazon. Feast, that's the brand. It comes sealed in, and the joint came straight from China. Wuhan, to be exact. No, I'm kidding, I have no idea where it fucking came from. But let's take the little security strap thingy off, the little security sticker off, and I'll let you guys see it first, because I really don't remember. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, brother. It doesn't look bad. Uh, I came out disheveled. What's going on here, guys? Look at this strap. The strap looks like a limp dick. What the fuck is going on here? What kind of fucked up part of the game is this? Oh, it's got the little deployment clasp and shit. Okay, okay, okay. It's got some weight to it, too. I wonder if there's any specifications or a model or anything like that. Huh. Feast original. Word. All right, so... No, it just says Feast chronoscope. <laughs> yeah, not for nothing. Other than the limp dick strap, this don't look bad. Wow. Wait, what? There's no way that this shit is a double sapphire automatic. Come on, guys. Are you trying to play with me right now? Don't you know I will expose you? Like, we're not doing that. I mean, this shit looks kind of nice, guys. What do you guys think? It's a little Richie or Dick Millie, but it's definitely better than the other Richard Millie. But this shit says, I don't know if you guys can see it there. Is it here or here? Where is it? Yeah, here. It says double sapphire automatic. Sapphire. See, when you tell me some shit like that, you know what I'm gonna wanna do, right? Because there is a way to check if it's sapphire or not. Let me take my pliers and cut this tag off. I'm not mad at how this watch looks. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what the price is of it, but we're gonna look at all this information together. So once again, here's the watch. This looks has this kind of carbon fiber-ish look. Apparently a sapphire crystal. It does feel, you know, pretty high, but we'll check. The strap came a little disheveled and shit, but it's really soft, very pliable actually. Here's the back of the watch again, comes with the deployment clasp joint, so that's pretty much a I mean, I don't, I'm not mad at this watch. I just gotta see how much it costs, and first, I wanna check if this shit is sapphire. So, when you wanna check if the glass on a watch is sapphire, and you have a very inexpensive diamond tester, although this is like 100 bucks, but even the $5, $10 shit that you get online, if it's sapphire glass, it's going to move up. It's not gonna ring diamond or anything like that, but it's not gonna do the beep, 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 like if you hit metal. It's gonna come up and show that there is some sort of meter reading here. So that's a way to expose y'all motherfuckers. You saying this sapphire glass? We shall see. I don't care what you send me. I'm gonna keep it a thousand with people. So let's see. You guys are gonna see it firsthand if it moves. No way. 
Nah. What? All right, let me look at the back. It says double sapphire. Oh, there's a cover over it. There's a plastic over it. I want to be fair. Let me take the plastic off. Comes with sapphire, okay. I mean, is that like groundbreaking? No, but it's a fucking Amazon-ish watch. Like, that's pretty fucking cool. I say so myself. Sapphire glass front and back. What are they charging for this fucking thing? All right, let's look up some specifications of this watch real quick. Hey, I'm gonna let you guys take a look at the watch while I look up the email and the specifications of this watch. All right, so they sent me a link from the Fe Feast or Face website, right? Yeesh, $599. I mean, it doesn't feel cheap, but that's not cheap. They have different colors. Luxury vintage watch. It's not vintage. Possesses a skeleton dial with a light aerospace grade carbon fiber case. That's real carbon fiber? Sapphire crystal mirror. Sapphire measures nine Mohs scale as the same hardest as natural gemstones capable of, of absorbing shocks without damage. It is more durable and scratch proof than mineral. Automatic movement, strong, lightweight carbon fiber case, houses an automatic movement with 19 joules and has a power reserve of 24 hours and vibration frequency of 21,600. It is powered by natural movement of your wrist. Nylon band features high quality, quality leather and synthetic nylon. The strap is water resistant and corrosion resistant. Waterproof up to five meters, mm. but essentially it's saying in general suitable for bathing, swimming, and snorkeling. Now it's $5.99 on the website. The model of this watch is called the FM602. Let's go right on Amazon, let's see. Yeah, it's $5.99 on Amazon, also Prime. Uh, what are the reviews on Amazon? The reviews on Amazon are about four and a half stars. Listen. I don't hate this watch. I can't say it's worth $600, but the fact that the motherfucker is indicating that it has sapphire crystal and carbon fiber, I can't tell the material of carbon fiber on my hands to see if it's real or not. So I can't confirm or deny. I can confirm as you guys saw that this shit is sapphire crystal. Uh, yeah, what's up? Best Richard Milley homage on deck? Yo, it's even got the Richard Milley style. So on the deployment clasp, so it even has that Richard Milley style deployment clasp with tension, look. It pops open. It's got a very, very strong hinge mechanism. That shit is no joke. It has a lot of tension behind it. That's quite surprising. I am shocked. I mean, if you want something Richard Milley-esque, this ain't fucking bad. All right, pretty simple. Just adjust it here. Let's put it on wrist. See how it snaps on if that still feels that. Yeah, man, that should feel. Listen, I'm kind of liking this watch. I'm not a Richard Mill guy. I don't understand like why they've gained so much value so quick and the spikes in prices. It's insane some of the prices that it's commanding for a watch that looks kind of like a play toy. Granted, I understand that the technologies behind it are some groundbreaking shit. Movement, there's a lot of hours and innovation that go into these watches, I get it. But we're talking visual aesthetics, right? If you're looking at it from a watch connoisseur's perspective, they're gonna understand the mechanism and possibly appreciate it. But if you're looking at it from a flex appeal, no chick is really gonna give a flying fuck about a triple tourbillon, NTPT, fuck. They don't give a shit, it says Richard Milley, just like wearing a Gucci shirt. It's about the brand and the label and what the hype that's been pushed behind. I'm not mad at this though. For $600, it's not super expensive, it's not super cheap, it is an Amazon style watch, but it feels of decent quality. I'll take it off real quick and make sure the shit even works. I haven't winded it or anything, it's automatic. Let me see if it just, is it self wind or what? No, nothing's happening here. Hold on, I'm moving it. It's rotating easy. I'm gonna wind it up. Hold on, I'm winding it up. Ain't shit happening though. 
am I supposed to see something happen? Generally speak, there is no second hands. So I'm confused, I'm winding it up. There is no second hands here, but I'm not seeing any action going on either. So what am I missing? Houston, I think we got a problem. I think we got a damaged watch. Ooh, no bueno. I'm winding this shit and I don't see nothing clicking and ticking. Unless I'm doing something wrong. Let me look it up. All right, I cracked the code. I was going to destroy this shit, but I realized something. I had to take a little bit of a pause, a little bit of a break, kind of figure out what was going on and why the mechanism inside of the watch wasn't moving. Here, take a look at the watch. This is a little bit misleading, but I understand what they're trying to do. Right, so you see the internals, right? You see the gears and all the motion and all the shit that's going on. The watch is working, however, there's nothing going on. I had to pause the video for a minute, set the time on the watch and just chill and relax and the watch is actually functioning, but there's no movement. So essentially what you're looking at here is an homage to a Richard Meal with a bunch of nice decorations. It's the actual movement of this watch is not what you're seeing really in the case back, but what's sandwiched in between this and that. So right in between is where the magic is happening. This is all decorative. So you're essentially paying 600 bucks for alleged carbon fiber. I can't confirm or deny. So I'm gonna say alleged, true sapphire front and back glass. It is an automatic movement that you wind, right? A nice tight deployment clasp, very nice feeling strap. Now is that enough to say $600 worth? That's subjective in count your pockets. For me, it's a little bit deceiving and clearly it caught me off guard that there's so much decorative shit that if it was all truly functional and the actual movement and mechanism internally, like sandwiched in between those two parts were true, this would have been a very, very killer watch. Now, is it a shit watch? Subjective, right? I think it's a very cool looking watch. I'm su super surprised that they actually use sapphire crystal. If this fascia is true carbon fiber, then thumbs up for that. It's a very comfortable watch. I've only worn a Richard Milley one time in a video and that's when I met uh, David from Daniel Jewelry Inc. Paying $600 justifiable to have sapphire crystal carbon fiber, a nice strap, a good deployment clasp and an automatic watch movement. Mm. But wrist profile. I will also say for a 44 millimeter, it actually wears very comfortably. It doesn't feel weird on the wrist. And a plus is that you don't have the, the branding all over the watch. It's very subtle branding internally and on the clasp, but it isn't like super big in your face. So if you want to fake flex it, if you're going to spend this kind of money, you can from afar, somebody will be like, oh shit, dude's wearing a Richie. And then you can stop it from a distance and be like, it's a Dick Miller, not Richard. It didn't provide me any link, but it is available on Amazon. So I'll put an Amazon link in the description if you guys want to check this out. You guys let me know what you think of this watch. I'll put a link in the description before. Shout out to the company for sending this shit to me, but I will always give an honest review no matter what the fuck you send. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who by the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay gets a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would.